I was so 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 self-conscious like I didn't think I was beautiful I didn't think I was pretty Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it is your first time joining us, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do hope you stay, subscribe and become a part of the ZX family. As you guys can see from the title of today's video, today I'll be doing a how to gain your confidence, how to be confident and to feel your best this is something that i feel is so 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 near and dear to my heart and i love making these type of feel good videos so if you guys like them as well give this a thumbs up don't forget to like i already said that don't forget to comment and of course do not forget to subscribe and let's get straight into the video okay so i just want to tell you guys a little bit about my story and what really inspired me to this video basically as you guys know today is friday it is spring day it is the first of september so I'm really, really happy and excited. But I know that this time, when, you know, it's kind of in the warmer months, it does bring a lot of anxiety to some people, people who are dealing with, you know, issues of the self and the appearance, because obviously we're going to be wearing less and going now. more. <laughs> So, you know, if you're not really comfortable with your body, it can be a really, really tough time for you, um, especially because everybody is just so out there and stuff like that. So basically with my story, it's just that um, if, if you guys have been following me, following me for a long time, you guys will know that I did quite a drastic weight change from when I was sort of like in the last years of my high school career. No, 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 like, sorry, mid high school to like end of high school. Um, I lost quite a lot of weight. Um, and as a result, like a lot of, you know my the images that i had of myself and stuff like that um changed um because before when i um was bigger i really had a huge issue with my self-confidence and my self-esteem i was so 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 self-conscious like i didn't think i was beautiful i didn't think i was pretty like i went through phases of just i feel like it was sort of depression because i was just had such a negative outlook on life had a negative outlook on myself and as much as i was that friend who was always laughing and doing the hahas like i was internally going through some heavy things with kind of just the world's perception of me and just my perception of myself like if someone was to ask me Zama, what do you think is beautiful like i would never have named myself like i would have put myself last i was always comparing myself to the next person like i was always saying okay how does she look how do i look you know that was always the first thing that i noticed about someone else was their weight which is so freaking toxic so um after i lost the weight obviously things changed because i was able to see myself kind of in a better light but also what people don't tell you about weight loss is that you know all those underlying things that you thought about yourself and stuff like that don't go away immediately like you definitely do still have to learn to love yourself again and you know sometimes i do have those moments of kind of i think it's like mild body dysmorphia where you just get very obsessive over the way that you look um i was speaking about this on twitter how we don't speak about it enough because genuinely um people think weight loss is a quick fix but like internally and mentally you need to be okay with yourself and just love yourself with all your flaws and everything else like that so yeah basically that's what inspired me to make this video and i really hope you guys um get something from this video and just are inspired to you know love yourself more be more confident and just yeah be happier okay so my first tip for you guys is to focus on yourself this thing of comparing yourself to the next person all the time is really what drains your confidence and just what doesn't make you feel happy and satisfied with the person that you are always focus on bettering yourself introspecting about the things that you like about yourself the things that maybe you would like to change about yourself but always just using yourself as um, sort of what you're measuring you know yourself against like see how you were last week how have I improved this week see how you were last year how do I improve from last year like don't look to other people to set a standard for the person that you want to be unless it's obviously something positive but even so it needs to all come you know and be a you thing don't make it a them thing make it a this is about me thing and just try to put most of your energy in focusing on yourself and i promise you this will make you feel so much better and it will just honestly bring your confidence up because you're not going to be worrying about what the next person's doing you have your blinkers on and you very much focus on the self and making yourself a better person my next tip for you guys is when you look good you feel good now this is to do with kind of you know your kind of your presentation of yourself to the general public how do you present yourself and what 
is how you dress or how you you know kind of present yourself saying about you so this isn't necessarily to do with like your fashion sense or things like that this is how you present yourself are you looking neat are you looking clean do you have dirty clothes on do you have clean clothes on even when it comes to fashion your style is what you're wearing appropriate for where you're going and honestly I find that this helps me so much with my confidence even sometimes if I'm not feeling you know 100% inside if I'm wearing like a killer outfit or my makeup guys if my makeup is slayed no one can tell me anything even if i don't feel amazing like you don't tell me anything because my winged eyeliner is gonna cut you it's gonna cut you so those things really do help to bring up your confidence and if it's something that you like and it's something that you're comfortable in it's gonna make you feel good that's what i'm saying your style is going to be unique to you what is comfortable to you is not going to be comfortable for me you know everybody has things about their body and things about what they like that they want to show off things about what they don't like that they want to hide it's okay just dress in a way that makes you feel confident and a way that makes you feel comfortable another thing to do with this topic is kind of self-caring exercise what you put into your body so those things are really important because they also do add to your confidence and just how you're gonna see yourself in general. If I don't eat well and I don't exercise and I haven't take, taken time to just take a break and just have time to myself, I don't feel good. And I wanna tell you for a fact, I do not look good. People will ask me if I'm sick, like I look tired, I just look like I'm not having a good time on this earth. And that's not the image I'm trying to portray to everybody else. So for me personally, I try my hardest at all times to look neat, to look presentable and just to, you know, be confident in how I'm portraying myself to the general public to not attract negative eyes. Like I don't like to attract negative eyes and I promise you, attracting negative eyes is not going to make you feel good. My third little tip is fake it until you make it. I know this sounds a little bit controversial, but just hear me out. I mean this in the sense of sometimes if you're not feeling as amazing let's say if I wake up this morning I'm not feeling as amazing as I felt yesterday just go back to that feeling of how you felt yesterday even if it's not how you feel today and just keep exuding it giving yourself words of affirmation just telling yourself like listen I may not be feeling the best but I am the best no I'm joking like not in a narcissistic way but like keep reminding yourself like you're important you're unique you're a queen you're a king you're that Bit. so even if today I may not feel it you know I know I am because yesterday that's how I felt and today maybe I just got off on the wrong side of the bed maybe my one eyebrow is you know higher than the other one and I couldn't change it this morning just keep telling yourself that listen this is a minor inconvenience like this isn't my life like this isn't my final form it is okay I'm still who I am I'm still made in the image of the creator I'm still that person and I feel like every single person should feel this about themselves I'm honestly not saying be narcissistic and tell everyone like, oh, I'm that bitch I'm that bitch I'm... no but know for yourself inside you are worth something you're val valuable like and keep reminding yourself even when you're at your lowest point keep reminding yourself that you're important you're a queen you're gonna be successful you are going to slay just affirm yourself so heavily and so fiercely until you believe it yourself my fourth tip for you guys is to block out any ne negativity and go to places where you find love and affirmations now this is super important especially now if we're talking about confidence and you know just feeling your best because why if you don't if you aren't surrounded by people who make you feel great and are constantly pulling you down with their words how they treat you all of those things you are definitely not going to feel great about yourself and you're not going to feel confident because you're going to keep hearing these things that people are people that are close to you are saying about you and you're going to start internalizing them and that is not what you need to happen if you want to post a picture of yourself in a bikini on instagram and people are busy telling you no you look fat no you look no if you feel like you look beautiful in that picture you better post it babes and you don't need people who are going to be telling you that you don't look good or whatever anything based off your physical appearance you don't need negative comments like that especially if you're feeling yourself you don't need other people to bring you down in that way so i really really feel like um finding people and you know family and friends that really make you feel amazing is gonna is gonna be what gives you the confidence like finding friends that will hype you like hype friends and as much as sometimes they get annoying like it's the best thing that you need like on a day where you're just not feeling yourself that thing is like shit. 
you snatched or whatever that is what you need in your life i really try to be that friend as well for my other friends i always try to make them know like every single time i see them looking beautiful i'm like listen babes you're doing that it costs nothing to tell someone you're slaying today so find those people in your life and make sure that they help you reach your full potential when it comes to your confidence and my fifth and final tip for you guys is to realize and to acknowledge and to come to grips with the fact that no one is perfect honestly guys everybody is fighting their own battles every single day in life um, and yet no one comes to realize that you know we are all fighting these battles in life and as much as your battle may seem you know like the biggest thing and your insecurities may seem like the end of the world you know I just want everyone to find comfort in the fact that we are all going through things everybody has flaws everybody has things they don't like about themselves um to you yours obviously does seem like the most intense but know that everybody's going through it in different capacities obviously so just honestly learn to love yourself nobody expects you to be perfect nobody else is perfect so anybody expecting you to be perfect is being dramatic because they're not perfect themselves I promise you know that the person that you're looking up to when it comes to body goals or whatever they have their own insecurities and to you it may not seem like they have any but I promise you they have insecurities so yeah just learn to love yourself learn to love all of your flaws we are all flawed human beings learn to love your flaws learn to love yourself entirely and whole Heartedly, and I promise you I promise you your confidence will be at level 100 and you will feel at your best Okay, my loves this is the end of this video if you guys would like me to do more feel-good type of videos Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and comment that down below Please don't forget to like to comment to subscribe become a part of the ZX fam as you guys know Road to 10k we're nearly there so please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and of course I will see you guys in my next video love you Bye. <laughs>